overflows. Awareness, the basis of meditation. Do not be afraid of this orgasmicness that surrounds you now. That is what ecstasy is to be orgasmic without sex. This you have to understand. By and by, orgasm will become non-sexual. Then everything gives you an orgasm and you can have as much orgasm as possible. Voice of a singer, musical notes, gestures of someone, anything or any situation can create the situation for orgasm to happen. Lao Tse saw a dry leaf falling from the tree, tossing and turning, tossing and turning with the wind as the leaf settled on the ground. With that, Lao Tse became enlightened. This was the state of orgasm for Lao Tse. The ultimate state of orgasm is to live in it continuously. Then each moment is orgasmic. Eating there is orgasm. Taking a shower there is orgasm. Moving, looking at the tree, you are orgasmic. Orgasmic means overflowing with inner joy or bliss that is not, that is without any source. That is the goal of Tantra, to make you so orgasmic that each act becomes ecstatic and becomes free of sex. That is what the meaning of the word Tantra is, taking you beyond the realm of the body. Tan means body, Tra means beyond, beyond the body. Something immensely valuable is by the corner. Receive it and its effects radiate all around you through whatsoever you do. At certain orgasmic, orgasmic moments, you are more aware, while at certain moments, less aware. So it is possible to create the situation of being more aware. That is why awareness became the basis of meditation. And with awareness came the surprise that as you become aware, thoughts disappear. When you are fully aware, there are no thoughts and suddenly time has stopped. Time can be there inside only with the movement of thoughts. In fact, time can be measured only with some movement. For example, with a watch, how are you measuring time? By the movement of the hands. Otherwise, there is no other way. If everything is unmoving, you will not be able to think that anything like time exists. But you know that a car has passed. Then a train is passing. There is a gap. In the gap, it means time. Then you hear the sound of an aeroplane. This is movement. You are finding movement around you. Inside there is only one movement and that is of thoughts. When thoughts stop, suddenly time disappears because time can be measured only through some kind of movement. That is why, if in the night 
you had many dreams. In the morning you will find that it was a long, long night because so much movement happened. But if you had no dreams at all, you will feel as if you have just fallen asleep and now you are awake. The night has passed so quickly. When you are in anxiety or misery or pain, time passes slowly because of your pain. You would like the pain to pass quickly, but with your expectations that the pain is not going, time is passing very slowly. But when you are meeting a friend, after years, you will find hours have passed and it seems just minutes since you met. When you are joyful, when you are miserable, it makes a difference in the speed of time immediately. But when you are neither just silent, time has no way to move. So as one becomes aware, first of all, one finds what's becoming less and finally stopping. Then he finds time is not there and he has found the key to basic meditation. Then all other meditations are different forms of the same method. However, different combinations of the same method. Different combinations, but essentially they are awareness or witness. They are the phenomena of awareness or witnessing. And it seems there is no other way to find it except through sexual orgasm because that is the only experience in life given by nature that comes very close to meditation. And the misery is that millions of people have no experience of orgasm and all the religions have been preventing them from having the experience. Religious preceptors think that it is the creation of man. Orgasm is the creation of man. It is not so. It has been given to you by the nature. If this is so ridiculous because if they don't have any orgasmic experience, meditation just remains a friction. Or maybe some giant can do it. But we are human beings and it is not possible for us to be more aware. How can one be more aware? We are aware as much as we can be. How to stop thoughts? And the responsibility for keeping humanity away from meditation goes to all the religious preceptors and their religions because they are against sex. They have prevented people not from sex but from orgasm because they have poisoned people's sex with guilt. They could not prevent sex but they did not allow people to be playful about it. They did not allow people to be respectful about it. They did not allow people to go deeper into it. On the contrary, because sex is sin, it makes people feel guilty. The man is in a hurry to finish as quickly as possible because he should not continue any sin too long. 
knowing that you are doing something wrong, you want to do it quickly and be finished with it. Such is the approach of man towards this basic act. And if man is in a hurry, he cannot attain to orgasm, only to ejaculation, which proves all the religious teachers right, that you are wasting your energy. Because the man feels he gains nothing, it is a wastage. He feels tired afterwards. The next day he may have a headache, feels dull, is not so sharp. Perhaps the religious people are right. He is already punished. So it is very strange thing. They have created the idea of guilt and the idea of guilt on its own has given proofs that you really are doing something wrong. The woman has remained unmoving while making love because she had been told not to enjoy herself while making love or to move or to be playful because it is only for prostitutes, not for ladies. Ladies simply lie down, almost dead, thinking, let him do whatsoever he wants to do and let him be finished soon, because they do not gain anything out of it. The man at least finds a certain release of the energy with which he was becoming burdened. But the woman does not get even that release. So naturally, women are against, more women are against sex than men. And every woman thinks in her mind that men are nothing but animals. Their only desire is sex. This is the byproduct. Such thinking is the byproduct of all the religious teachings. In this way, they have not been able to prevent sex. Otherwise, humanity would have disappeared. An orgasm is not necessary for reproduction. So biology has no problem. It can continue to work without orgasm. This is the understanding of the religious preceptors and that has kept humanity away from that experience of bliss, harmony and oneness within. The first experience of that comes through orgasm and then spreads through all other acts that you perform in life. That is why this awareness is the basis of meditation. Enough for now.